Hello and welcome back. Um, this is another update on the banjo project and I've got quite a lot done this week. Uh, Harry will be pleased about that. I'm getting on with it Harry. I've been working um, quite a lot on the neck this week. Um, so we've gone from that large block of wood that we started with um, to something that actually resembles the neck of a musical instrument. So we're getting inexorably closer. Still a lot of work to do but it's nice to see it finally uh, starting to look like a banjo uh, and I for one I'm looking forward to uh, getting everything bolted together and finished but um, I don't want to rush it I want to make a good job of it. So on with the video. So here's the big block of wood um, that you saw me marking on a little earlier in the video and this is going to be the neck um, of the banjo. When you consider the sheer size of this piece of wood, um, this is uh, in the tradition uh, one I made earlier for a previous banjo. So you can see um, it's somewhat lighter and smaller uh, than the piece of wood I'm working on. However, uh, that was the whole reason for marking the wood out. And, uh, and what I've done is, is this. There's, um, there's the banjo head. Hopefully you can clearly see it looks like a, a guitar or instrument head. And there's the rest of the neck. All based on the centre line of the wood at this moment. And this section here uh, that I've marked off, I'm going to take off because um, a bandsaw won't take uh, this depth of wood. So I'm having to take some off in order to cut this side. So here's the, the head. So that's the head here, as you can see, and that's what it looks like in side elevation or profile view, going down to the heel at this end. So what I need to do now is I need to cut this piece out and I need to then cut out the rough profile of the neck. I want to keep it as square as possible at this point, but uh, basically that's going to become the neck. So after a bit of work on the bandsaw, um, with that rather large piece of wood that the neck's going to be made out of, it now looks a little different, as you can see. It looks quite a lot more like a a neck of an instrument rather than just a, a block of wood. Uh, the next step is lots of sanding. Um, so I'm going to get on with that. Um, uh, just flatten some edges off, uh, get down to these edges here, um, and get everything as, uh, as smooth as I can, ready for the next stage. So plenty more sanding to do. Uh, you'll have guessed that this instrument making is all about sanding. <laughs> Um, one of the things I need to do is I need to um, work on the uh, the head of the banjo and what I need to do is design something on paper that I could stick actually onto the instrument itself to get uh, all the measurements correct. I used a program called SketchUp which is free. There is a paid version uh, but the free one works as, as much as I need and basically what I've done is that. So you can see that's the banjo head. So what I'm going to do now is cut that out and stick it onto the actual neck itself. So here's the neck roughed out. Now it's still square, which is what I want it to be at the moment. You can see here the uh, little cut out for the fifth string and on the head there is my head design, which is uh, just glued on using a glue stick. Uh, so it'll come off easily and I can sand away what's left. There's a little gap here ready for the nut, which is uh, or the strings break over onto the neck and ultimately this face will have uh, walnut on it and I'm seriously thinking of doing the same on the back and, and maybe uh, taking that around this little ridge uh, which when finished will form what's known as a volute which is uh, actually a, a violin term 
uh, but it's quite often used just to strengthen the neck here because uh, it's quite weak here. Um, so I may well do that yet. Uh, so that is the banjo neck roughed out. And a lot of work of carving and sanding yet to do, uh, but uh, well on the way. And at least now it's starting to look like an instrument and it's somewhat lighter. So just to finish with, here's a quick shot of where we are now. And you've got to admit, that's looking more like a musical instrument, isn't it? So there it is. Um, and I think you'll all agree it's starting to look like a banjo, which is great. That's what it's all about. Don't forget about UKIS. Things are moving on at a great rate of knots. It's up here in the corner and you can learn more on Martin Saban Smith's channel and also on Mike Walt's channel. Um, all the guys uh, I'll put in the description below as usual, along with uh, the Facebook page and the main website for UKIS. And that's happening in June next year and promises to be very exciting indeed. So if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. I've had quite a few new subscribers this week and you are very welcome and thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, hopefully you're enjoying what I'm putting up. Please do comment. I do reply to everyone that goes in. Thanks very much for watching and bye for now.